I do not think there's any imminent attempt on the part of China to invade Taiwan. At the G20 meeting in Indonesia, Joe Biden met with his Chinese counterpart, Xi Jinping. I didn't find him more confrontational or more conciliatory. I found him the way he's always been, direct and straightforward. What should... But China three months earlier, the US president was just as direct when questioned about Taiwan in a primetime interview in America. Would US forces defend the island? Yes, if in fact there was an unprecedented attack. So unlike Ukraine, to be clear, sir, US forces, US men and women, would defend Taiwan in the event of a Chinese invasion? Yes. Well, President Biden has made very clear that the United States uh, would, in fact, move to defend Taiwan and deploy our military forces uh, into Taiwan in order to protect them. I think that pretty much makes clear that the United States will, in fact, go to war if necessary in order to protect Taiwan. Which brings us to a critical point for Australia. Where do we stand if the US ends up with a war on its hands over Taiwan? If the US goes in, do we then have to? I think it would be extraordinarily difficult for Australia not to. I mean, the United States has invested decades in this relationship. Uh, Australian geography alone makes us a really critical partner to the United States in any Taiwanese contingency because it is almost impossible to conceive that such a conflict would be restricted to Taiwan. If China takes Taiwan, do we have to go in? That's the question for the government of the day. Of course, we have alliance obligations with the United States. We don't have a closer security partner than, than the United States. We fought and, uh, you know, bled together over the last century. We face very complex strategic circumstances and the world is much more fragile now than it has been for a long time. That, that is the reality of the world in which we are living. And we are seeing a great power contest. And from a man who had seen his fair share of military action, joining forces with America will come at a cost. The most basic expectation is that we share the burden and the biggest burden is casualties. If you're going to fight beside the Americans, you, you, you will take casualties. So whether it's in Iraq or Afghanistan or in a future Taiwan scenario, uh, there will be significant casualties. And they know who their allies are that are prepared to really stand shoulder to shoulder with them. And that's the key thing.